We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering... Are we friends? I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean... I'm glad you said yes. Is Hank still my friend? Survey says yes! I like how that's always the first thing that they tell us. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Oh. Fuck. Why'd it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. Wait, did we know those guys who were being gunned down? Oh, that makes me feel even worse if we actually met them before. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Fancy doorbell. Heck of a lot better than yours, Lieutenant. Ooh. Hey! You're the title screen girl! Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Oh my god, I, I sing and love that, that she actually has relevance to the plot instead of just being the title screen random person. No, that makes sense because she introduces you to the world and she's his personal android. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Huh. Well, of course we're not just going to sit around and wait, we're going to walk around and wait. And interesting that I chose a symbol for the resistance that is very similar to the one that he has around his house and those photos did not look similar in the slightest nice girl uh it's not a girl it's an android that looks like a girl i thought I know what it is no i'm Connor. when i said indifferent i meant to say like nice place it's not a place. It's an android designed to look like a place. A no, I meant place. like she looked indifferent. Like she was just Amanda. brainwashed or whatever. God darn it, I don't care. Uh, Amanda, st wait, Amanda. Wait a minute. Wait. So, oh, okay. So they know each other. Maker, Connor. How's it feel? Feel like reading a book. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> I want to answer his question. How do I feel? Impatient, distant, indifferent. Uh. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Uh, is he talking about... Eh, never mind. Sit down, I guess. We got nothing else to do. <laughs> as soon as I sit down, he stands up. Well, I'm gonna stand back up. Roger, we'll see you now. 
Oh, I guess she opened the door and I didn't hear it. Okay. Android is back. Get information from Kowalski. Um, Mr. Kamsky? Hello? Just a moment, please. Wait. Um. Yeah, he's swimming around. She says two other girls hanging out. Are they all the same title screen girl? You'd think he'd have a variety. Maybe he just has a one true taste, I guess. I don't know. Nothing to examine as far as I can tell. What would they be talking about? <laughs> He's got a man bun. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Oh boy. On the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, well, God. Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. 
That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Really stinking fascinating way of doing everything. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Oh boy. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? Because you told me not to! I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, he likes us. But in the end of the day, it's not a matter of what he likes. Amanda might be furious. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. I'm worried for you, Connor. Not because of you specifically, but just the situation you're in. It's not going to be easy for you to break free. But I hope I can make it happen. I'm glad you made these decisions last time. This is our story.